Welcome to a new episode of Skyrim. Today we're gonna talk to Esben or talk to Arknir and I'm going to talk to Arknir. So we are going to High Rocknar and going to talk to him because I trust him a lot more. Is I know maybe he's outside. Where is he? I see him here on the map. Yes, he's here. Struggle to find him, but we are going to talk to him. Dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? No, but he told me how to find out. So be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. I need the Elder Scroll. The Asian Jews. I need the Elder Scroll, the Asian Jews. Do you know where to find it? We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Any such idea where to find the Elder Scroll? Mages, not followers of the way. Take your question to the College of Winterhold. They may be able to help you. Such blasphemies are the calling of mages, not followers of the way. When that... We're gonna lose. We need to go to the College of Winterhold, so we are going there. We gonna spawn... Here. Oh, you can have better from this location. I've been looking for a letter. Looks like that's it. Got to go. We're gonna walk over there and hope if they know where we can find the Elder Scroll. gonna do this location it's 
it's a far walk, but we are coming there. There's another city there. Windhelm. First we are going to Windhelm to discover the location. It's always good to get to a lot of locations so you can spawn there and spawn near your objective. We are going inside. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the dark brother. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm close. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. We're gonna look around the city. Be on the lookout. The fortune could be around any corner. What is it? You need an apothecary. The white file has He's a true north. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from We're gonna talk to Joel Ulfric Stormcloak. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? I was at Helvogen. Ah, yes. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. A held Ryloff escaped. He said he'd forge for me. Ryloff's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good man. But he hasn't returned yet. So I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they've made it out of Helga. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. You fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's Don't against us. Folks are finding victory across the land. Knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? I'm not I much of a strategist. Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the if same. If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet, 
Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Yars. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. <laughs> Tell me, Galmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ufric. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. I. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. We are going back. I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. This was the episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Bye bye.